Hello everyone, this is Azure Tier Gamer, and today we are going to be doing a mostly blind Let's Play Mother 3. It isn't completely blind, but I, I've only played like the first half an hour uh, up to the end of the Burning Forest place. So, um, it's pretty much blind because I've only played like a little bit. With us, I have Fire Emblem 237. Yes, and this is like his favorite game of all time. It is my favorite game ever. Nothing will ever be able to beat it. In my opinion, this game is absolutely perfect. No flaws whatsoever. Yep. And, and I've heard like that from multiple people, if not just him. So it's got to be really good. So I figured I'd <laughs> try it. Let's get started. Oh, did Are I hit sound sa test by accident? You, you did hit sound test. <laughs> or sound... Okay, so the orange text is not the selected text, it's the white text. No, it's not. I forgot that when I played it like six months ago for like 30 minutes. I'm just gonna go default names, because they sound okay. better for the character. Mm. Yeah, it can be awkward saying it, saying like your own name in the context, especially with this story. In RPGs, I always use default names if there is one. Make sure you tell them, um, like at, at the exact point when it's now it, when it's blind again. Yeah, I will. By the way, folks, he's barely seen anything of this game. He's gotten halfway through chapter one, and there are eight chapters, so. And the seventh chapter is long. <laughs> well, this is a 32 megabyte GBA ROM, so it's got to be pretty long. Oh, it's one of the... Other than never-ending games, it's probably the longest GBA game I've ever seen. Welcome but to never... part 250 of Let's Play Mother 3. Sure, Conrad did it in like 81 parts or 100 and something. Since I'm doing it blind, it's probably gonna take me like 120. Well, you have me with you though. Yeah, that's a good point. But seriously, when I, this intro is epic. Like I've just watched it like 10 times. The music See, the is fantastic. Like, yeah, it is. This game has an amazing soundtrack. There is no song that I dislike in this game. Also, this is probably a bad time to say this, but I haven't played it in about a year or so, so my memory might be a tiny bit foggy, but probably nothing too horrible. Okay. If worse comes to worse, we'll just look up what, what to do if we really have to. Like, if we're stuck for, like, four parts. Well, that's right. You only do, like, ten-minute parts. That's right. Unlike me, I no, do, No, like... I'm gonna be doing 20 minutes. Anywhere from 20 to 30, I usually do. Oh. It's walkthroughs I, I do 10 minutes, because I usually, like, try to keep them episodic. Like, when certain story events happen and when they end, I usually end the part there. Uh, now, do you read dialogue? Um, I used to. I'm not sure if I will. Do it. It's okay. very, very, very I'm not going to voice act, though, because I cannot voice act at all. That's cool. Lucas, how long are you going to sleep? Get up so we can play. Get up already. The Dragos brought their babies over. They're really cute. Hurry up. Good old Klaus. Also, if you go around and you, you check, like, the mirror, like, it has, like, things about the mirror, and... This game is very detailed. Especially for a GBA game. The same bed head as always. There's mom. Good morning, Mr. Sleepyhead Lucas. Claus has been up for a while playing with the Dragos. It's pronounced Klaus, I'm sorry to say. Right, Klaus. That's just something that bugs me. Are you planning to play in your pajamas? Scoot upstairs and change your clothes. I remember I remember if you say no, she's like, oh well you can just stay in the house all day. 
You can stay. You can stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. And you can stay inside in your pajamas for the rest of your life. Yep, you quote oh. it exactly. Now, actually, at the very beginning of the game here, already there is a secret. Uh, you know, you know how to dash, right? Um, I think it's B. Yeah, hold B, and then yes, there you go. Oh, oh, that was by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I just didn't turn fast enough. That's actually the secret I was talking about. LOL! <laughs> I had no idea that was there. Should I be talking to everyone? Because I, I know in the beginning which ones give you items and which don't, which is not many, but... Um... I talk to everyone anyway, because the game's dialogue is just so damn witty. Okay. Oh, you're up, sleepyhead. Well, today's the day you head back home. I'm gonna miss you guys. Aww. Moo. All cows, no matter what they're thinking, go. Moo. It'll be handy to remember that. It's not handy to remember that at all. <laughs> oink, oink. What the pig says next to me worries me. Oink. Don't worry about it. <laughs> cluck cluck. You're awake, cluck? Cluck, you late riser. This game has some really funny dialogue in it. Now if you were to go down, like straight down from the house, you wouldn't be able to go that direction. Um and it, it's a really clever way that they have. There are ants at your feet. You. you might actually step on them, so please don't continue in that direction. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Instead of just an invisible wall. A story is a series of memories. Memories are remembered of other memories, and in turn, become memories themselves. If you don't take care to preserve your memories, you'll forget them. So please, tell us frogs your memories of everything so far. This is what people refer to as saving. Now then. Hop. Save your game. Yep, you save by talking to freaking frogs. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> That's so weird. Please this be so careful out of the ordinary. There. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. That was at one point my Skype moon message. <laughs> Klaus, use tackle attack. It's super effective. Normal. If it's a normal type move, how would it be super effective against anything? Huff, gasp. Woo, I'm beat. I've been playing play fighting the dragons all morning. You should play too, Lucas. Here, try ramming into a drago. Klaus, Lucas still doesn't know how to ram into things yet. I love My the mom. face on that like dra that green dragos at the right, like the bottom right. It's yeah, like it's, such it's a, a derpy hit smile. It's adorable. <laughs> Lucas, try to imagine a thing called a B button, and then hold try that B button for a second, then let go. Doing this will let you dash, and you, by using this dash ability, you can ram into the drago over there. Klaus, show him an example. Suddenly breaking the fourth wall. Try to imagine a thing called a B button. <laughs> yes, just like that. Now it's your turn, Lucas. Give it a try. Now, an example of how freaking, like, detailed this game is. Hold on. You'll never succeed with a sullen look on your face. That holds true for anything. Just relax. You know how you know how it falls to the left. Yeah. I wonder what would happen if you made it fall on you. Okay. Yeah. That's just an example of how detailed that. this game is. Ha <laughs> ha! Is that all you got? You whippersnappers still have long ways to go until you can get the best of me. You whippersnappers! The harder you and intend, the more dragos like it. Move it! Out of the way! Mole, make way for the great mole cricket! Hooray for 10 pixels! 
I can't just sit idly by when I, when I hear someone's play fighting. I'm gonna wipe the floor for all of you. Get in my way and you're in for a world of pain. You encountered now, the ball cricket. Now I believe this would be a good time to explain this. Uh, this game actually, unlike most RPGs, actually does have a combo system. And what you do is you press the A button after you attack to the basic beat of the song. So basically it would be like a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2 of that. Basically that of the song if you were able to find that. Now, Dylan, I don't know whether it's lag or emulation issues or that he's not, not, he's not able to easily find it, cannot seem to pull this off very well. Yeah. I'm just not really good at rhythm games, and, and this is technically considered a rhythm. Like, mm -hmm. rhythm game, sort of, in, in battles, anyway. But I'm sure but it doesn't hurt to try. Yeah, I usually just press random buttons and eventually, and sometimes I get like two or three combo. And you can combo up to 16. Yeah, I saw a video on YouTube. I looked up like the max combo because I was bored, and someone got like 16, and I was like, oh wow. That's the maximum. It's not hard to do if you're musically inclined. I see you have more of a spine than I thought. If you'd like, I could train you personally sometime. Next time we meet, it'll be at the Big Mole Cricket Hole Stadium. I look forward to seeing you there. Bro. <laughs> I step on a mole cricket. I hope it's alright. <laughs> Lunch is ready, everyone. I made your, your favorite boys. Omelets. Oh, lunch, lunch, omelets. You too, Dad. Fourth wall time. Now then. Listen, folks. Here is how to save. Talk to frogs. This is how you save. <laughs> it's not too tedious or troublesome, so you should talk to the frogs as often as you can. Plus, saving is absolutely free. Now then, it's time for me to return to the story. Saving hey, is DLC. Wait for me. Saving is DLC. You saved me some am some omelets too. I hope. Some omelets. Omelets. What's your favorite food, Mom? Oh, omelets. Then your favorite the same as ours? We make a good match. Aww. After we're done eating, we need to get ready to go home. We have to go through the forest to get back, so we'll need to leave early. Don't be silly. I bet the kids can make it here on their own. It's that safe. I bet even you can handle it, Lucas. <laughs> One of the most heartfelt things in any video game right here. Yeah, I know. I remember this. Dear Flint, just like you said they would, the children have been running around the mountains and fields tirelessly since the moment we arrived. Klaus is daring and full of energy as ever, while Lucas is still a bit coddled. But neither one seems tired of playing at all. My father seems sad to say goodbye to his grandchildren after seeing them for the first time in so long. But we should be home by this evening. I had forgotten how nice and refreshing the mountain air is. You're always covered in the smell of sheep back in Tasmania Village, so I really wish you could have been here to take in this air. The next time we visit, let's ask one of our neighbors to tend to the sheep so we can all come up here as a family. Klaus? Lucas and I were always thinking about you. When we get home this evening, I'll start cooking some of your favorite omelets right away. With love, your dearest Hanawa. Adorable. And then, right after this, this one cut, this one text, some, something like, wait for it. Oh wait, no, it's not this. It's oh, this is text. 
Alright, here we go. About now would actually be the best place to stop the recording right. at, at, like, right after the title screen plays. Okay. So what do you know, after this cutscene ends, I'm gonna end it. Okay. I don't wanna end it mid-cutscene, because then I have to quickly pause it while it's likely to end. Stop when mm -hmm. we record it. Trouble is happening. Trouble is afoot. Huh, <laughs> it's a donut. Or is it? I suppose it gives. Oh my gosh, it's a new explosive diarrhea! That too. <laughs> and no, I don't want to start fat track the, the nuclear vessel thing I got from the episode of Futurama. There is the man of many legs, Thomas. He's the only character that runs like that. <laughs> Okay, I like that kind of running animation. I've, I've seen it in a few games. Sonic has it. Kind of. Um, I think the way they drew Sonic is like a bit different for it, but... I know a game that has, um, similar to this I used to play. And yeah, I'm gonna end it here. So remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you like this video, and, and stay tuned for the next episode. And, um... Check out Fire Emblem 237's channel. I'll link him in the description. And I'll see you all guys in part two of Let's Play Mother 3 Blind. See you guys next time.